Hello, my name is Patrick Butler with The Agent University, and we're here to talk to you about some of the basics of short sales. But a little deeper than basics, we're going to share with you a few key secrets of how to identify short sales that actually have a significant chance of closing, as opposed to those short sales that we hear about as nightmares in the industry. You know, a short sale by definition is very simply understood as a property whose loan balance is greater than the amount of the property value. In other words, these homeowners are upside down, or what we refer to as underwater. This is a significant crisis across the United States of America, but for us as real estate professionals, provides us with a very key opportunity to make some money in this distressed housing market. Well, how did we get here in the first place? Well, as we all re recall, back in the earlier part of this century, in this decade, lenders came out with a lot of crazy loan programs, toxic loans as they're referred to in the industry. And many property owners or prospective property owners took advantage of these and got in well over their heads. Well, as these loans began to reset or re-index, as it's called in the mortgage industry, many of these property owners had payment shock and were no longer able to afford the monthly payments on the loans that they had secured. So what ended up happening? These loans went into default and ultimately into foreclosure, or at least pending foreclosure. So the short sale is an incredible opportunity to help these property owners out of their financial mess and at the same time make some money in this distressed property industry. So number one, what are some things that we want to look for in identifying short sale opportunities that have a very high percentage of closing? Number one, is the property owner occupied? Now if it's your listing, that's easy enough to find out, but if you're showing another broker's listing, you may want to have a checklist and ask first and foremost, hey, is this property owner occupied? And in fact, does the owner still reside in the property? These are some key points that we're going to need to find out if our short sale is eligible for some of the government programs that are out there. So it's owner-occupied. Investor-owned properties tend to have a much lower success rate, but we'll talk about that on another, another session. Are there multiple liens on the property? Short sales that have junior liens or second mortgages have a very low percentage of closing rates. Why is that? Well, those second lien holders typically have to take substantially less than the value of that mortgage. In fact, in some cases, as little as $1,000, no matter what the loan balance is. So we want to make sure, if we're going for the highest odds, that we're working on short sales that are single lien or have a primary mortgage only file. Make sense? The third piece of data that we're going to want to capture. Does the short sale have a loan that was originated on or before January 1st, 2009? This key piece of criteria falls into the eligibility standards of the properties and we're going to share with you what guidelines we're talking about in just a second. Is the loan balance equal to or less than $729,750? That's another key number that you're going to want to put on your checklist. And again, if it's your listing, you need to verify that with the property owner. And if you're working with a buyer, ask the listing agent. Now you may find out that the listing agent doesn't know this bit of information. So with this information you're gaining today, you can help coach them through the process as well. So what are we actually talking about, folks? We're talking about the federal government's Home Affordable Foreclosure Alternatives Program, otherwise known as HAFA. HAFA was established back in 2010 to provide homeowners that are upside down and underwater with a critical path for getting their property sold with no deficiency judgments against that homeowner and providing them with a relocation bonus of $3,000. So when you're going out there looking for those listings or working with buyers that might be interested in a short sale, our recommendation for you is to look for HAFA eligible properties. Those are the properties that meet those key criteria. Owner occupied, still in the property. Multiple liens, not. Having only one lien is your best bet. Originated on or before January 1st, 2009, with a loan balance of less than $729,750. These are some of the key techniques to use in identifying key short sale opportunities that are sure to close on time and with minimal hassle. So if you'd like to find out more about all of the ins and outs of short sales, as well as how to obtain short sale listings en masse, you've got to join us and become certified as a certified short sale agent. You'll be very glad that you did. So until next time, we'll see you and visit us here for the Certified Short Sale Agent Program.